Welcome back to the channel and today we're kind of figuring out our situation for winter with um, our car issues and our car problem. I guess we love cars and we hate money and it's just going to keep going. But anyway, when I was in high school, it seems like your, your car love goes back to your high school days, whatever that car was that you had to have. And for me in Southern California, it was the Honda Civic. It was the cheap, cool car. You cut the exhaust off, make it sound like a space shuttle and all that crap. So I've had plenty of those, uh, starting with the first Civic, that was a black one. And then did a bunch of dumb stuff to that. Then I had the Fast and Furious-esque yellow hatchback. That was really cool and really slow. Then I got a CRX. I love the CRX. And after the fancy slow hatchback, I decided I'd get a CRX. I'd make it fast. Put a turbo single cam in it. It was like 235 horsepower. But I never washed the car, ever. That was a really cool car. Ended up selling the CRX just before we moved to Minnesota. Sold the shell for 400 bucks, which I regret all the time. Over the years, I've had a purple coupe, a 91 GSR Integra. That was a really cool car. I almost forget how many I've had. Currently, I have the white 99 coupe. That was just a stupid cheap car that I bought, it was smashed up in the back and decided I wanted to try my hand at the chop cut rebuild. So I ended up putting a junkyard rear bumper and trunk lid and then I cut the back of the Civic off, welded it in. And actually the whole back of the car is spray painted with rattle can with a clear coat that sucks, it's turning yellow. But as far as just having a car around and it's didn't cost hardly anything. I mean, why wouldn't you have that around? So that's kind of the problem we're in now, uh, where we've got all these cars. We've got my race car, the kids' turbo Miata, we've got just a good old truck out in the driveway, and today we're going to be going to pick up the 95 Civic SI hatchback that has 62,000 miles on it and the last time I drove it is when it hit 62,000 miles. But that car has been through a hailstorm, and it's got a little bit of rust in the back, so I did buy the quarter panels. We're gonna, the plan was to put the quarter panels in, and this is a classic Honda. It's getting to be worth quite a bit of money in stock condition because this is the one that everybody got when they were 17 and cut the muffler off and did all sorts of stupid body kits and stuff like that. But this one is all original, so trying to bring it back to as day one as possible without anybody knowing that it's been touched, which is the way I would want to buy it. So we're going to go get that car and then to top it all off, the other day I found another 90s Honda. The deal was right and we're going to go pick that one up today too. I don't know where we're going to put all these cars, but I guess we'll figure it out. So let's get it done. What are you doing? Picking up this car that's been in your garage for five years. <gasps> Do you know what kind of car is in that garage? What is it? It's a Honda. What kind? Um, Civic. Yeah, Civic. There it is, is in the it? garage. Yeah, it is a Civic. <laughs> but one thing about storing cars at your mom's house, don't ever give up your spot. So this is where the Miata will be later. Oh, right. I don't want that red piece of shit in my garage. <laughs> All right, so here is the 95 Civic Honda Civic Si in stock condition. Now, you'll see all the lights are out of it and it's on some junk wheels. We have the stock ones. The reason that it's sitting on some junk wheels and the lights are out of it is because the last place I took this was to some painter who ended up ripping me off. But we got it back and uh, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. We put the stock wheels and tires on, it's gonna look day one. All right, so we got it out of the garage dented fender. We've got another one of those. Look at this interior. Look at that interior. I got I got one of the last sets of Honda floor mats ready to go in this thing when it's ready. Look at this interior. 
you don't find them like this anymore. And that's why we're saving it. All right, so we got one classic home, the 95 Civic Si. Been in my mom's garage for like five years. Now that car, I, I was really excited about. That was my winter project. We were gonna put the quarters in where there's a little bit of the rust there. It's got some hail damage, so we're gonna find a PDR person. Um, so that was the winter project, but even when I drove that car, the couple times that I drove it, it's got 62,000 original miles, so I felt real guilty about driving it. But remember back in like late 90s when you'd go and you'd either look at a new Honda or buy a relatively newer one, like a used car? They had like this feel, this the smell, the interior smell, it's, it just takes you back. And that car has it, it has it. So we're gonna fix that one up to as day one, brand new as possible, and then I'll probably end up selling it. One of the interesting things that I, that I found looking at the Honda museums, I believe Honda has three museums throughout the world. Not a single one of them has a 92-95 hatchback in it that I've seen. Now there's the Honda Museum in, uh, that's that's what, the real time in Wisconsin or Chicago or something. I think they have maybe one, but all in all, it's just, it's a classic car. So that's why I was excited about going and grabbing that one from my mom's house, getting to work on it. But then this other one came up. All right, we pulled up to the house where our new to us car is that we just had to buy. Obviously, it's not that one, but we know we're in the right place because super awesome, super. I wish that's what we were coming to pick up on the dirty cheap. FRS, Civic, so they uh, they got car problems too here, but come check this out. I'm gonna show you what I had to have. The deal was too good to pass up. This is my new 88 CRX SI. Now this is uh, a, a, guy's, a guy who's 37, Devin, real nice guy. This was his first car, 16 years old. He, he's had this since he was 16. Come check out the interior. Now it needs some work and everything, but look at those SI seats. These CRXs are not easy to come by anymore. And so I thought, you know what? This deal was pretty dirty cheap. So it's a clean title, 88 SI. So I'm happy, let's get it home and see what we got. Well, our daily mission is complete. Our 95 Honda Civic SI is here. This is a known car. It's a car that I actually drove by a dealership the day the old lady turned it in or sold it to them and snagged it right that day. So, you know what this one is, it needs a little bit of rust repair in the back and it's been through a hail, hail storm, so the hood, although dirty, does have a lot of dings in it. I'm gonna find a PDR person to save that hood. I have another hood, but also on the back side of this hood is the emission stickers and all that stuff. I want this car to look like it's first day brand new. So that's the mission with this one. This is a restoration. We also made it back with our 88 CRX SI and yet to be determined, there's a lot of good parts and the seats have no rips in them, which is unheard of. A lot of good parts on this car. I bought this car on the dirty cheap. I don't know if this is a parts car or if it's a car worth building up. So without us knowing if this is just a parts car, We'll need to take all parts off of it that are good, even the somewhat good parts, because these parts aren't very easy to find. We would then take those parts and apply them to a different chassis if this ends up being a parts car. But if we decide that this is a car to build, uh, all the parts still have to come off. So I believe, and I'm getting anxious to find out what we've got here. So this, the next episode, I guarantee you is the teardown of this car so we can figure out what we've got. But looking inside, the seats are amazing. Uh, you don't find these seats without the rips anymore. This one's, you know, a little loose, but that seats interior, this rear interior stuff is uh, not always found in cars. 
leave that open to ask. Doors shut a little nifty. Um, but it has all the panels here. Again, this back deck lid cover, stupid hard to find when you do, it's expensive. But this has all the, all of the um, rear pieces and that looking down the side here, you can tell this car's been repainted. I can tell there's some rust right there. The guy that we got it from was 39 years old, said he got this car when he was 16, and he said he did not complete the bodywork. Doing the math, that puts us out to him getting the car about 1999. So this bodywork would have been 1999. Makes the car 11 years old. I don't know how much rust it could really have at 11 years old, but that's why we gotta figure it out by tearing it down. Uh, other things come over here, Drew. Ooh. Fart can exhaust. I can guarantee you that's the first thing coming off. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a giveaway for any ricers in my area local, but not in my neighborhood because I don't want you to have that. <laughs> but looking down the window here, um, see a little bit of bubbling there. This is a huge spot of Bondo coming off of there. Man, I really want to tear that off like right now. And then we can see what we got. But we don't have Oh yeah, that's Bondo. Ooh. So that's Bondo. So I don't know if that was a dent put there because it was a dent or if it's a rust repair or what's going on. That's what's gonna be so fun about tearing it apart. Uh, sunroof has no rust, it's been repainted, but doesn't have any rust, which is really rare for the, the uh, SI versions with that. The other spot that I found over here, Drew, is right down here. That rocker panel is, let me see that. The rocker panel is not in good shape. Now if it's just a rocker panel, we can deal with that. So, but again, we'll have to really start taking the parts off of this car either way, whether it's a parts car or a build car, and we'll figure it out from there. Because the last thing I want to do, if this is just a parts car, is to have it taking up extra space when we've got all this other stuff in here. Well, I hope you like this episode of going and retrieving a car I've had for a while and a brand new car to us. I guess, but not brand new, probably. If you like this episode, you're definitely going to like the next episode because I guarantee you I'm tearing that thing down and we're going to show the whole thing. So like and subscribe and of course always thanks for watching.